Singer Lisa Marie Presley's cause of death just revealed. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner, the 54-year-old died from complications from a prior weight loss surgery. The report says it was, quote, a small bowel obstruction caused by scar tissue that developed after a previous bariatric surgery years ago. The manner of death is natural. Joining us now is CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta. So really interested in what you have to say about this, because hearing of someone dying of obstruction in the small intestine, that might sound surprising, but this was apparently a side effect from this kind of weight loss surgery. Right. So, so there's uh, uh, parts of this story that uh, make a lot of sense and parts that are a little bit more unusual. Uh, what, what they're describing when they say that there was this previous operation that led to this, uh, anytime someone has an operation on the abdomen inside the belly, uh, you can develop scar tissue. Um, it's called adhesions. Think of that like spider webs that sort of develop and some of those spider webs can start to constrict parts of the intestines. This takes place over time. Uh, her previous operation was years ago. Over time, uh, it may actually com compress parts of the intestine to the point where they become obstructed, they, bec they can become strangulated, you can't, they're, they're blocked essentially, you, you're not getting food through, but also there's not enough blood flow. That all happens. Uh, we know that that can happen, and sometimes people have off and on pain for some time. What is unusual, though, is that it sounds like she, maybe she had had pain off and on, but the morning of, she was complaining of some pain and then was found unresponsive at her home, taken to the hospital where she subsequently died. That was a rapid, very rapid time course, and that, that's a bit unusual. Usually if someone is in the hospital with this sort of thing, uh, they can even go back in and operate, do something to relieve that blockage. But she had progressed so far, it sounds like, by the time she got to the hospital that she passed away. So it can happen, but the, the, these blockages as a result of scar tissue, but the idea that they lead to death, especially that quickly, that was more unusual. So it's a it's, it's really sad uh, situation that unfolded there. You know, Sanjay, the report also listed therapeutic and not dangerous levels of oxycodone. <clears throat> can medications like that play a role in something like this? Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting because I think when someone has it, dies quickly, you know, you think, did a medication lead to that? Did it interfere with their ability to breathe on their own? Uh, that's not the case here, it sounds like, from the report. Two ways that it might still contribute, though. One is that what I just described earlier can be painful. Oh, and, and opioids, other medications, can mask that pain. Someone may go to the hospital a little bit later as a result. And the second thing is opioids can also further slow down your intestines. So a blockage that was already unfolding could have been made worse. But the idea that the opioids themselves led to the death, they're saying that did not happen here.